Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make these delicious chocolate raspberry cupcakes. It's a rich chocolate cupcake with a raspberry jam filling dipped in a chocolate ganache topped with fresh raspberries and sprinkled with some chocolate shavings. It's the perfect little sweet treat for Valentine's Day and it couldn't be easier to make. So the first thing you wanna do is add three tablespoons of bittersweet chocolate chips to a large bowl. And then to this, you also wanna add a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. I really love to use the combination of the chocolate chips and the cocoa powder for the utmost chocolatey flavor. And then we're also gonna add a half a cup of hot water, and this will allow the cocoa powder to bloom, which will bring out its best flavor. And then you wanna let it sit there for just about five minutes. And then you can just whisk that up until everything is combined and those chocolate chips have melted. Then you can add a cup of plain white sugar, and because the chocolate is still warm at this point, it will help to dissolve the sugar. And because there's no mixtures involved, this is a really easy cupcake recipe for kids too. Then you wanna add a half a cup of vegetable oil and pour it in slowly just because you wanna make sure it's all combined before you add the eggs. It's sort of like mixing up salad dressing because we have all this water and a lot of oil, but it'll combine, just keep whisking. Then you wanna add two eggs, adding them one at a time because at this point, we're starting to make an emulsion because we have all of this oil and water and we wanna make sure that it's nice and combined. There we go. And you'll see, it'll thicken up the batter. And then you wanna add one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And then you can set this aside while we whisk up the dry ingredients. And then for the dry ingredients, you're going to take three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I don't wanna put that much baking soda in it because we want the tops of the cupcakes to remain pretty flat since we're going to be putting all those raspberries on it. If we added more baking soda, they would rise too much and dome and then the raspberries would fall off. <laughs> so just a quarter teaspoon, just for a little lift. And then you can whisk that up. Then just add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients and just whisk it up until everything is combined. All right, then here's what you're gonna do for that raspberry jammy filling inside the cupcakes, which is such a great complement to that rich chocolate cupcake and the chocolate ganache. It just gives you like a really great balance between the flavors and makes them not too heavy. Okay, we're gonna add a half a cup of raspberry jam to a bowl. And I think if you just only use the raspberry jam, they would be too sweet and syrupy. So I like to also add some fresh raspberries to the mix. So I think the perfect balance is a half a cup of jam to six ounces of fresh raspberries and then just press the fresh raspberries down with a fork, combining it with the jam until you have a really nice chunky concoction. You wanna leave the raspberries semi-chunky. You don't wanna pulverize them um, because I do think it's nice like that in the filling. Now, here in California, we are lucky to have fresh raspberries this time of year, but if you're in a colder climate and you can't get fresh, you could use frozen. I would just let them thaw out um, in the fridge overnight and then maybe pat them dry so that they didn't have too much moisture because if you have too much moisture, it's going to water down and dilute your jammy mixture. There, it should look like this. Jammy, chunky raspberry filling. <laughs> I am making these cupcakes in a jumbo muffin tin because I think they look really impressive that way, but there's enough batter to do 12 cupcakes as well. So you really can do either one. Then the other thing I would say is make sure you line your cupcake tin with some cupcake papers. These are parchment paper, so they won't stick to the cupcake when you go to unpeel them. I also love the way that they just blend right in with the chocolate, so it's almost like you don't even notice it. I will leave you a link in the description where you can get them. You wanna fill your cupcake wells just about halfway full before you add the filling. And this is a pretty runny batter. This is what makes the cupcake so light and fluffy and delicious. So you may need a little paper towel to clean up any drips after the fact, but that's okay. It's worth doing for the texture the cupcake provides. Then you wanna add about two tablespoons of the jammy filling to the top of the cupcake batter. We're going to actually add some more cupcake batter on top, but before we do that, I do like to take a skewer and just mix the jammy filling in and around the cupcake batter. That will allow them to incorporate a bit better and it will prevent having the cupcake top get concaved when it bakes. All right, then we're just going to hide our jammy filling with another topping of batter just to take it like three quarters of the way up. Try as much as you can to hide the jammy filling with the batter just so that it bakes over it. 
There is something that is so delicious about the combination of raspberry and chocolate. I think it's the tartness of the raspberries really mellows the richness of the chocolate, and it's such a great combo for Valentine's Day. Then if you wanted to, you could also go in with a spoon and just make sure that you're covering the batter fully from the raspberry filling. I don't think it's the end of the world if it's peeking out uh, because we are gonna cover this whole thing with some ganache. And then just give them a whack on the countertop just to get rid of any air bubbles. And then you're gonna go ahead and bake these cupcakes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for just about 30 minutes. You'll know that they're done when a toothpick comes out clean. And if you're doing the 12 cupcakes, I might go 20 to 25 minutes and just check them with a toothpick. All right, in they go. Now, while your cupcakes are cooling, you can make your chocolate ganache. So all we're gonna do is add a half a cup of heavy cream into a saucepan. And then get this going on a medium high flame. And to that, you wanna add a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then whisk the chips into the warming cream until it's all combined. I like to add the heavy cream first, just so that it doesn't scorch the chocolate chips. And then once it starts to melt like this, you can actually turn off the flame and just continue to whisk until everything is combined. And you will have this really delicious, smooth chocolate mixture. Then you also wanna add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract just to give it a little bit more flavor and take down the bitterness. Another thing I like to add is two tablespoons of corn syrup, just because it will create a really nice shiny gloss to the ganache. If you don't have the corn syrup or don't wanna use the corn syrup, you could leave it out. And then I would just add probably another two tablespoons of heavy cream to your chocolate chips. I also think the corn syrup also sweetens up the chocolate mixture a little bit too, so it plays double duty. <laughs> And you do want it to be a little bit at room temperature. You don't want the ganache to be too hot. So it's a good thing to do while your cupcakes are cooling. And then your ganache should look like this, nice and smooth and shiny. Then just make sure that your cupcakes are cool enough to handle because as soon as they start to cool, about 20 minutes or so, the filling will set up and the cake will set up and it'll become a lot less fragile when you go to decorate it. And then just give your ganache a bit of a stir in case it's settled a bit. And then you can dip the top of the cupcake into the ganache. Dipping it as opposed to spooning it on just helps you get a really nice even layer of ganache without it dripping too much over the cupcake. Then you're gonna take some fresh raspberries. I always take the one that looks to be the tallest and put that in the center <laughs> just while I have it. And then go ahead and decorate all the way around the cupcake. This reminds me of this cake that my sister and I used to eat all the time at this French restaurant that we worked at when we were in our early 20s. And it was this amazing chocolate raspberry ganache cake that looked super complicated to make, but the flavors are exactly the same. And these cupcakes are much easier than I'm sure that cake was. Then for the finishing touch, I like to take some of this bittersweet chocolate and a potato peeler and make some little chocolate shavings and curls all on top of the raspberries. And this is why I have some parchment paper and a cooling rack because it does make a bit of a mess, but not to worry, most of it will hit the cupcake. There you go. And the nice thing about this recipe is you can make these cupcakes the day before, keep them refrigerated in your fridge. I don't cover them, I leave them just like this on a little cooling rack and then take them out about 15 to 20 minutes before serving just to get that ganache up to a slight room temperature. It'll give you a better texture. And when you bite into these, you will see how delicious they are. Between that light and fluffy cupcake and that delicious jammy center, the rich chocolate ganache, and of course, the fresh raspberries on top. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I'll see you back here next time for another quick and easy recipe. Until then, bye.